All right, day five at Walt Disney World. And we're just one quick monorail ride away from another exciting adventure at one of my favorite places on the earth. We're back at the Magic Kingdom. We're still here on our family vacation. Things can get kind of intense. Stay out late, squeeze every hour you can out of the parks, and then get up early, have fun, have fun, have fun. Matter of fact, we just got here, and we're already almost late. Because we've got a fast pass that's already ready to go. And it's the wildest fast pass in the wilderness. Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, boy, look at this. A sick pick. Did I get it? Perfect. Oh, yeah. I love the Disney World Big Thunder. And with the fast pass on the Magic Band, it's a great way to start our day. And your Magic Band, London. Ah, uh, yeah. Having fun so far? Uh-huh. Day five, though, you getting a little tired? Getting a little tired. So far we've done all four parks. We've done a late night event at the Magic Kingdom last night till the wee hours of the morning. Ooh, and now we're circling around for more. It is family vacation time and it's been really nice to spend time together out here. But I did miss you guys just a little. So we thought we'd bring you along just for a little part of our day here at Walt Disney World. Check this out by the way. I never noticed this before, but you see that portrait up there above the line for Big Thunder? That looks an awful lot like a hidden portrait portrait of Tony Baxter, creator of Big Thunder Mountain. What do you think? All right, looks like we got a train to catch. You ready to party, buddy? Yeah. All right. This Here we way. go. Hang on, Lally. Down into the mine. We love it. Watch out for Buddy, Big Thunder Mountain, thumbs up from London? Yeah. <laughs> it's always a good time in the old way. All right, make sure everybody's got their hats and glasses. Time to go. Oh, I love that one. All right, well, that was literally the first thing that we've done all day. And since we haven't even eaten yet, I'm thinking that's probably what we should take care of next. Let's just take a little walk over to Liberty Square. Avoiding any and all snakes and alligators. Ugh. And grab ourselves some delicious grub. For whatever reason, until the last time Allie and I were here, we never ate at this place. But now, this restaurant right over by the Haunted Mansion, the Columbia Harbor House, has become one of our favorite destinations. Oh, it's so good. Not just for you regular people with their delicious sandwiches and shrimp and chicken and salmon and whatnot, but also for those of us who need to eat gluten-free. Look at the size of this allergy menu. I can get grilled salmon or chicken strips here. And look at the decor. Because we're over here in Liberty Square, it's all themed around colonial times. And nautical seafaring decor. Look at that. I feel like like I've stepped off an old sailing ship and into an old timey tavern. You hear about the way our General George Washington defeated the British? He used his wooden teeth and chewed right through them. Wow, check this out upstairs. Each little nook and cranny is a little 
little bit different than the others. But they all feel like they were made out of pieces of ships for some reason. Look at this, even the trash cans are themed with nautical nonsense. Ah. And I see we found ourselves a window seat with quite a view. But I like my seating arrangement a little better. Look at the size of these tables. And look at the non-existent size of these crowds. The only truly disappointing thing about this visit is they've changed the gluten-free chicken strips they used to have everywhere to these gluten-free chicken nuggets. They're still good, just not as good. Oh, Ali said. I am literally just happy there's something I can eat here. Um, <sighs> another meal devastated. Look at me. I'm still not drinking soda. Now back to the park. All right, back outside. And this time we popped out on the Fantasyland side. Like I always say, I love the Walt Disney World version of Fantasyland. Look at that view. Now since I'm supposed to be on vacation with them, I promised myself I wouldn't get into too much Disney history, but I can't help standing here looking at this view and thinking of the same view back in 1990. Nigel Barrett has sent me a picture of this exact same view from 28 years ago. Whoa, would you look at that. Oh my goodness. Some things haven't changed at all, but some things really have. In this part of Fantasyland, it's amazing how much the buildings have stayed perfectly intact since the old days. But that view is definitely altered by the fact that today you won't see any more Skyway buckets over the Magic Kingdom. Wow, that's crazy. See, I didn't get to Walt Disney World until the 2010s, you know? All this stuff was before my time. And this spot right here in the Magic Kingdom is sort of infamous as a choke point, you know? A place where traffic kind of collides. It's hard to imagine that once upon a time, there was a Skyway bucket pylon right here in the middle of this walkway. So even though it's kind of sad that the Skyway buckets are gone from the sky, we're probably pretty glad we don't have that giant pole here on the ground. Speaking of this area of Fantasyland and the Skyway buckets, this is the area where the Skyway station was as well. Just to the left of It's a Small World, on the ground here where that stone pattern is, that's where the giant pylon was, the first pylon for the Skyway as you left the station which was sitting right about where those strollers are. This is an area that's been completely transformed, and thanks to Nigel Barrett again, we can go from today's view of this part of Fantasyland with the Rapunzel restrooms back in time and see the Skyway Station in 1990. Dude, that is such a cool-looking building, isn't it? Look at that. Look carefully up to the upper right of the photo. See the castle wall up there with a shorter castle wall underneath it? That would be this same castle wall up here here behind the Rapunzel restrooms and down below, hidden behind these strollers in the shade of this tree, you can still see that little corner crenellation on that lower wall. See, it's all hidden and changed back here. It's like theme park archaeology. Wow, that is crazy. What a crazy difference between just 1990 and today out here in Fantasyland. Look at that. They got rid of that entire hill. I was personally scared of the Skyway, but I did like seeing it flying overhead at Disneyland, so I would have really liked to have seen it flying over at Magic Kingdom. And I know you really like Sky Bucket type rides. He loves those things. They're fun. There's nothing to be scared of. Except for plummeting. As much as I'm sad that I missed out on the classic era of the Fantasyland Skyway buckets here at Magic Kingdom, I gotta say, these Rapunzel restrooms that basically replace the area where the station was are absolutely fantastic. Plenty of stalls, always nice and clean, and really well themed. And they may have gotten rid of that Skyway station hill, but look at this, London. They've got this this hill now complete with Rapunzel's Tower. And I love the movie Tangled, because it reminds me of Allie's life story. Yeah, the only difference is my hair shorter. True, but it still keeps me young. Wow. All right, all right, that's just a little taste, a little taste of Magic Kingdom history. So much has changed here in this century. I'm glad they at least kept this part of Fantasyland old school, because the rest of this Fantasyland has completely changed. I mean, just as one example, look at this view of the castle right here, stare into Fantasyland. Back in May of 1972, right in this spot, was Dumbo. Not anymore, though, folks. Not anymore. And not only did Dumbo used to sit right here, but back there in that building, the building we're looking straight at, the Princess Fairy Tale Hall, used to be the old Snow White Dark Ride. I really wish they had kept that here. I don't have a good photo of it from back in the day, but I do have a couple of old 1972 carousel pictures, and in the background, if you look 
very carefully, you can see a little bit of the Snow White ride facade. Huh. Looks like the Friars Nook building over here hasn't changed much since 1972, huh? Except for, you know, Dumbo not being in the foreground and also another missing Skyway pylon. But other than that, the building looks pretty much like it used to back in the 70s. All right, all right, I'm supposed to be saving the history for another trip to the Magic Kingdom. This trip's supposed to be about having fun with the fam. And the best way to have fun when it's a zillion degrees and a zillion percent humidity is by getting some ice cold refreshment. Time for some frozen treats. What are you thinking, frozen lemonade? Yeah. Mickey bar? Frozen lemonade? Frozen lemonade. Better than the Mickey bar, huh? Yeah. Lasts a little bit longer. You're just getting water out? Yeah. You're crazy. Here you go, Papa. Thank you. Now let's find some shade. Ah, oh, yeah. Stay hydrated. Stay cool. Ooh, stay alive. Oh. Wait a minute. London got too hot. Look what he's about to do. Oh. <laughs> How's that feel? Good? Better. A little better, huh? Yeah. Nice and refreshing. At least that's one thing that doesn't have a line. That's true. You literally look happier about that than you did about the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that we've cooled off just a little bit, we've got to find something else to do to kill time until our next Fast Pass. Hey, I've got an idea. There's one classic Fantasyland attraction we've never done together as a group. The Disney World Mad Tea Party. The line's only 10 minutes long at the moment, and thankfully the Magic Kingdom version of this ride mercifully comes equipped with a roof. Oh, thank the maker. Those of you familiar with Disneyland in California will notice that the teacups here, the patterns on them are quite different than the ones in California. And I used to think that the Disney World version was the weird, bizarro, wrong version, but then I looked into it a little more deeply and I realized that back in the 50s and 60s, the Disneyland teacups actually used to have a similar pattern to what is now the Disney World teacups. So it's actually our version that's the weird one. Alright, here we go. Please don't trample me. I'm wearing sandals and I'm not used to it. Another difference at Disney World is look at this giant teapot and look at the dormouse inside. They've got that in Paris too, but not in Southern California. Alright, let me see if I can squeeze in here. I just want to say a very merry unbirthday to all of you, my friends. And you, and you, and you. Alright, London, you've got some strength now. Let us spin! Whoa. I probably shouldn't have done this with a belly full of ice cream. Fun All right, spin, 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 spin! For the white rabbit's sake, spin! It's pretty hot to be working this hard, but then again, the spinning is providing a nice cool breeze! Oh, I think spinning it this way is actually faster. Oh, okay, I can't lie. It's been a long time since I've spun this much. Oh, man. Oh, oh. oh thank goodness. That was almost a little too much spinning for me. Alright, time to go. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Whew. Just think of all the millions of people who have spun themselves silly with happiness on this ride. Normally I just run around the parks at Walt Disney World like crazy, all random with no pattern whatsoever. But when I'm here with the family, I gotta go by the fast passes. We've got about 20 minutes to kill until our next fast pass for Space Mountain. So we're heading into the old storybook circus area. Well, I guess I shouldn't say old. It is, after all, one of the newest areas of the park. Still so weird to me. No matter how many times I come to the Magic Kingdom, I'll never get used to seeing double Dumbo. Twice as Dumbo as the one at home. All right, the coolest part of the Storybook Circus is definitely Casey Jr. and his spitting animal friends out here, even though he looks like he could use a coat of paint. But at the moment, the part that we're interested in is Pete's silly sideshow, this gigantic tent here in the very back corner. Not only is the sideshow air conditioned, but look at that, it's only a five minute wait to meet Goofy and Dumbo. Ooh, some pretty magnificent theming. Right this way, folks. Right this way. Right through the mouth. Oh, check it out. That side is me, Minnie Mouse and Daisy. This side is Goofy and Donald. That is awesome. There's not that much line at all. And while you're waiting in line, you can actually see Donald Duck right there and Goofy right over there. Look at this, London. It says the great Goofini broken bone Goofy. record holder. And look over at the other sign over there. The astounding Donaldo. Charmer of all beasts dangerous. Strange grammar. Stranger outfit. Ooh, it's our turn. Goofy! Hey, go what happened? What? Did you do this, Goofy? What happened? Oh, Donald crashed your motorcycle? Oh, ho, 
Oh, oh, oh. Muy loco, like me, like me. Oh, look, it's Goofy. London, you excited? Let's take a fun pick, Goofy. Fun pick! Everybody go, Goofy! <laughs> Goofy! That was awesome. The great Goofy. And now it's time for the astounding Donaldo. You ready, London? Yeah. Time for a fun pick. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Look at that, it's Donald Duck. And look into the eyes of these snakes. That makes me feel silly, Donald. That makes me feel ridiculous. Oh, you've ch okay. oh. He's charmed himself. Look at that. Donald, snap out of it. Oh, okay, he's awake. He's ready for the pig. All right, hug Donald and get ready for the fun one. Oh, Donald loves Allie. Okay, now they're going to get a picture together. All right, look at him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's me, Donald. I did that. I put that ring on there. Oh. See, Donald's happy for me. There we go. Oh, what a fun one. Bye, Donald. He loves Allie. All right, that's it for the fun picks. Well, I'll have to stand in line for Minnie Mouse next time. But for now, we've got a mission. And it's not circus related. We've got a mission to accomplish in outer space. Oh, yeah, it's Space Mountain time. A lot of Californians like me don't realize that this Space Mountain, the one right here in Walt Disney World, is actually the original Space Mountain constructed in 1975. Two years before the California version and four years after Magic Kingdom opened. And another little known fact was that the construction of this ride was partially funded by RCA. And that's why back in the 1970s, this ride was sponsored by RCA. As you can see in this old photograph sent to me by Jim Kelly. That is pretty darn crazy. I mean, for a little while, our Space Mountain in Anaheim was sponsored by FedEx, but it didn't have a huge sign for the company out front like that. I've always wondered what was up with this giant sign in front of the ride. Well, now I know that it didn't used to be quite so naked, and it used to support a Space Mountain ride vehicle filled with astronauts. Man, I have not seen, heard, or thought of the company RCA in a long time. Man, we used to have RCA stuff everywhere. Cassette tape players, TVs. Where is RCA? Is RCA still around? I am not sure, but what I am sure of is Space Mountain is still around, and we're about to enjoy it. Ooh, look at this. They finally got rid of those weird video games that were over there on the side. Now the screens are just showing the vastness of outer space. It kind of fits the mood better, in my opinion. Oh, thank goodness for this air conditioning. It feels so good in here. And look at this, the fast pass side doesn't have much of a line at all. Wow, it sounds like everybody's excited about it. Time to hop aboard our rocket and head for space. Space. <laughs> the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Random Land. It's continuing mission to have an adventure. Ooh, fun trip. Okay, go. Oh wow, look at this. This never fails to impress me. I love Space Mountain here. Oh, look at the light bulb's burned out of there. You can't see the little space mask. You ready, buddy? Ready for space? Let's go! Okay, here we go! Oh my gosh! Somebody call Neil deGrasse Tyson! I don't know anything about the car! <laughs> What'd you think, buddy? Woo! You like it? Yeah! You like this version better or California? This one. You alright? Yeah. Sweet. Nothing cools you down like the frozen vastness of outer space. And nothing is as cool as a sweet, fun pick. Ooh, the normal exit to Tomorrowland is closed off, so right now... They've been having people exit Space Mountain out the back. So there's this whole temporary walkway out here underneath the eaves of Space Mountain. Weird, I've only ever been back here once before, but that was at night and a whole different story. If memory serves, the welding shop is somewhere back here, but they've got that all carefully hidden with these construction-looking walls. However, one thing that they don't have hidden is some of this area right out here. Look at this. This is the swamp that's just past Space Mountain. And if you look through those trees, just 
goes through those trees right there. You can see some mounds of dirt that they're moving around. That is where they're doing construction in preparation for the new Tron light cycle ride out there. It's gonna be very weird seeing an expansion to the Magic Kingdom this way, but that's how they avoided getting rid of the Magic Kingdom's speedway. So they get to keep their version of Autopia and get a sweet new Tron ride. This is pretty cool. Definitely not a view of Space Mountain that you get every day. All right, we've been hanging out for quite a while now. What do you think? Should we let them come with us on one more ride? Just one more. Just one more. Whoa, look at this. It's Edna Mode riding around Tomorrowland. Clearly, you all have impeccable taste. Yes. Well yeah, thank you. I've got terrible taste in fashion. She must have been talking about my taste in ladies. All right, we're going to make our way out of Tomorrowland and towards our last ride with you guys anyway of the day. But before we leave entirely, let's take one look back at Tomorrowland. Ah, yes, that's a pretty good look back into Tomorrowland, but how about we look back even further to 1990, thanks to this old picture from Nigel Barrett. Look at that old school Tomorrowland. I gotta be honest with you, I like the new Tomorrowland, but I kinda prefer the look of the old school version, and I dig that red trim. All right, all right, that's the last one, I promise. Guess it's time for us to head over to our last ride. All right, guys, I do plan on returning to Walt Disney World and the Magic Kingdom as soon as possible, both for more history and more video adventures. This particular visit is just for our family vacation purposes. The first time I've been able to take London on vacation for more than a week in two years. Uh, thanks to one very generous friend of mine, I was able to to bring London to the Magic Kingdom one more time while well, he's still 11, you know? 11's starting to get pretty big, but it's still firmly within that childhood line. Once you turn 12, though. Well, then you're a tween, then the next year you're a teen, and then you'll be in your middle teenage years, and you'll start thinking that everything I say is stupid. During my teenage years, I was way over the whole Disney thing. I don't know if your teenage years are gonna be like that, but just in case. It's nice to be here making a few more childhood memories while there's still a little child left in that little guy. Paul! Paul, I want your future to be as the right wise ruler of England! It didn't work, huh? That's okay, you can always be a dentist. Wait a minute, I have the perfect plan. This doesn't have to be your last childhood trip to Disney World after all, London, because our last Fast Pass is gonna take us somewhere where you never have to grow up at all. Come on, everybody. We're going to Never Never Land. Second start of the ride and straight on till morning. You excited, Allie? You like this ride, right? Oh, yeah. The Disneyland version is good. But the Magic Kingdom version definitely has its own little razzle-dazzle. All right, London, climb aboard. Up to Neverland. Watch pixie dust right there. See? All right, into the nursery. And off to Neverland. See, there's Tinkerbell right there. Where's Nana? There's Nana. Hi, Nana. Ah, uh, yeah. realize something. You're named London, so we're flying over you. Oh. So how am I in here? Ooh, it's very dark inside this version between London and Neverland, but look at the size of this Neverland. Did you hear something? It's Captain Hook's pirate ship. It's shooting at us. Watch out. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, look at that. There's the Lost Boys over there by the tree. But look at this. Mermaid Lagoon. How about that? You like mermaids, London? I've never seen one. Oh, I thought you just did. Hey, look, it. it's Tiger Lily and the fam. All right, we're headed towards Skull Rock. Wait a minute. There's no Tiger Lily in this version. Uh-oh, but they're making Wendy walk the plank. Who will save her? Ooh, how about Peter Pan fighting off Captain Hook? Oh, watch out, John. Watch out, Michael. There's a croc in the water. Ooh, this is exciting. Ooh, Peter knocked out all the pirates. Here we go. Back to London. And look what happened to old Captain Hook. That old codfish. Listen. Help me, Mr. Spears. Help me. I've always thought that last piece of audio. Help me, Mr. Spears. Help me. It's a little bit funny, right? Kind of weird. All right. That's it. That's it for today anyway, huh? We did it, buddy. We visited Neverland. Exit to your right. 
Exit to your right. You look like you can use a little rest, huh? Ready for a little break? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna do it. It's not that we don't like you. We love you, in fact. But I think we're gonna spend what's left of this day getting a little more quality time in without you guys. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below. And then you'll have done your duty. And you can go home and sleep well. dancing for a long time. Yes. How's it feel? It's tiring. You a little sweaty? Yeah. Was it worth it? You like dancing? You're a dancing maniac! Alright. How about we get a little shade, huh? Yeah. Okay. Go home and shade well. Thank you. Hi, this is my dad. Um, Disney World is fun. Um, yes, uh, you don't see anybody else but me. Yes, nobody. I'm alone. I'm alone. Disney World is fun, and uh, thank you for coming with us, I guess. Plus, like the video. What's plus? Plus. What's that? Oh, short way of saying please. Yeah. Ah, only it took longer to explain it. So was it really shorter? Dun, dun, dun! Oh, hey, London, take a picture with this purple wall. Why would anybody do that? To be honest with you, I don't know. Just because it's purple, I guess. Okay. I'm trying to get out of the way, crazy <laughs> automobile driver. I miss the horse-drawn buggy days. At least the only thing a horse could do to you was poop on you. <laughs> uh, Stuck a fork into his bowl and called it macaroni. 